Welcome back, everyone. Was it coincidence, fate, or genius that launched one of the most popular French fries in Austin? This entrepreneur's story will make you wonder. In the heart of downtown Austin, there's a food truck phenomenon firing up the capital city with a fabulous fusion of Korean barbecue. Banana Congress? All right. And tangy Tex-Mex. If you like tacos and you like uh, Korean food, then, you know, that's uh, it's a pretty surefire way to go. Created by an Austin entrepreneur who came up with a dynamite dish. For, like, millennials like us, like, kimchi fries are the next big thing. Along with tantalizing tacos, burritos, and bowls all propelled the tiny food trailer into a full-on brick-and-mortar restaurant called Chilantro. Chilantro is the first time I've, the first food truck I've ever been to. Yeah, and so it's like, has like a little special place in my heart and now they have a brick-and-mortar, it's amazing. Here, you can mix and match ingredients like spicy pork, soy glazed or spicy chicken, tender ribeye beef, and kimchi. All with super fresh Tex-Mex things like grilled corn, queso, or guacamole, along with all kinds of fresh veggies. With spicy chicken, I'll recommend uh, ginger carrots. You can add even more flavor with one of their Asian-inspired sauces, like ginger carrot, spicy ranch, or sriracha. A magnificent marriage of two worlds, made into a healthy bowl, a giant burrito, or tasty tacos. I got the spicy chicken, Added some kimchi and some other flavors. That's great. Packs a punch. Foodies are flocking to get them now, but this huge success story started slow with a big leap of faith. I maxed out my credit card and also I took out my savings, everything I had, and I said, I'm going to start a food truck business. His idea? To pair up a combination of family recipes and the street foods of Southern California where we grew up. Okay, now your first day was a little rough. Uh, it was uh, horrible, <laughs> not rough. Uh, I, the first day that opened, I opened at UT uh, by Adobe Mall, and uh, it was a seven dollars in sales. The whole day. The whole day. Oh my. Yes, it was. It was me and the cook, and we just I remember sitting there. It was so cold by the grill. We were just sitting there, and then we had one customer that day. And then second day was the same customer with a friend. Oh. So, <laughs> and we did like $15 in sales second day. Oh, you doubled. Yeah, we doubled the sale <laughs> the second day. Thank you, thank you. After many long hours and late nights, sometimes sleeping in the trailer, Kim Chi came to the rescue. When I first started and I offered Kim Chi on our Korean barbecue tacos, a lot of people would say no, like I don't want that. So I was throwing away a lot of these, these two. I was throwing away fries, I was throwing away kimchi. So one night, uh, I was so desperate, I was like, I'm just gonna put everything together that we serve and uh, charge it at the most highest price. And I said, kimchi fries. The kimchi fries are a magical mountain of munchy heaven, starting with hand-cut fries and your choice of freshly grilled meat. The kimchi is grilled too, to seal in the sweetness. All this gets layered on top of the fries with cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese, fresh chopped onions, two kinds of sauce, I'm gonna put magic sauce right on top of everything that we have. A little cilantro and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. Now at three in the morning, were you putting sesame seeds on it too? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's all part of Literally it. Literally everything that I had on the truck. <laughs> you were just getting rid of it, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> I but love it. Now it's it's our signature item. Mm. There's just something about all that goodness. And everybody out there is so jealous right now that's ever had your fries. <laughs> Look what we're eating now. Bet you can't wait to try some too. Okay, everyone, we're going to find out how to make that delicious grilled cheese queso from Aldacos. And I'm with my go-to chef at HEB Cooking Connections, Valinda. You can make it so easy at home, right? Yes, we can. We'll show you how to do it. You're gonna go ahead and use some Mexican crema, the panela cheese, green onion, cilantro, poblanos, and we're gonna use um, some margarita rimmer for the side, and the olive oil too. 
And this is a special olive oil. I did not know this. It's hand-picked, pressed within four hours, and it just got the New York City International Olive Oil Competition Gold Medal Award. Yeah, it's the real deal from Sicily, right at H-E-B. Right at okay, H-E-B. what do we do? All right, let's cook. Add a little bit of olive oil, put in your cheese. You're gonna get a nice toasty brown, a couple of minutes on each side. There you go, nice and toasty, melty. Go ahead and set it aside. Put in the poblano peppers, Tangi. That you've already roasted. Right, already roasted, took out the skins. If you want it spicy, leave some seeds in there. And then you're gonna go ahead and also add in the corn and cook this for one more minute. Just to heat everything Just through, Just to heat right? everything together. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and take that Mexican crema. Which is so good. So good. <laughs> I love that product. Yummy and creamy. Stir this together. Bring it to a nice boil. And then right when you're ready to serve it, you're gonna go ahead and slide that toasted cheese back on top and add salt to taste. And we've got chips and salsa ready to go on the side. All right, let's dig in, Tanji. Garnish with green onions and cilantro, a little bit of fresh lime, salt to taste. Margarita glass, rim it with the Montana Mex chili salt or the Adams Reserve Sriracha rub. Muy sabroso. Muy sabroso. Muy sabroso. That's good stuff. We've got the recipe on goodtaste.tv. Coming up, big and bold. My wine finds are perfect for whatever's on your grill. But next, grilled oysters, seafood stew, and show-stopping desserts. Good Taste will be right back. Good Taste with Tangie is brought to you in part by H-E-B.